guess where I am today? I'm in Maryland to go to the Fairhill Five Star Event with my friends Kong Equine. You've seen some of the Kong Equine products in some of my other videos, so I'm super excited to meet everyone there today. If you don't know what a Five Star Event is, it's where some of the top event riders in the country come to compete in dressage, cross country, and show jumping. I'm also here with my mom. Where is she? Past my big head. That's my mother. She's here to be my cameraman today, so she'll be tagging along, and you may see her in some of the shots. Um, it's nice and sunny. It is supposed to get a little rainy later, so we'll be sure to bring some raincoats and stuff, but it's gonna be a fun day. So we made it. We're at Fair Hill right now, and you can just see how many cars are here. There's a ton of people here. People think that horseback riding is a sport, but look how many people show up for it. It goes on and on forever. So what I thought we'd do is go check out the cross country jumps and just see what the riders are going up against and see how terrifying they are because they're terrifying. By the time we got down in the cross country field, the five star riders are actually going right now. So in between riders right now, I just wanted to show you all how big these jumps are. They're massive. So what cross country is designed to do is to test the horse's stamina and bravery. So you know going up to this, you gotta be brave to go over that, right? The maximum height of these jumps is 311 or 1.2 meters. But with the brush, if they have the brush above them, it can go all the way up to 47, which is huge. <laughs> So if you're not familiar with eventing, cross country is just one competition piece of eventing. You also have dressage and show jumping. And so what the goal is with this sport is to find the all around horse or the horse that has the best training, the best stamina, bravery and finesse it needs in order to compete in all of these challenges. So when horses are competing and eventing at this level, you know that they have training across a very wide spectrum, you know, from the really controlled dressage and understanding those really technical techniques to then cross country that requires stamina and bravery. So I've just looked in the cross country course today, it's just under four miles. And so we've walked a really long way and it's really tiring. So I just think about the horses doing that. I'm like, oh my gosh. And it also says that the optimal time for the riders is 11 minutes. So you gotta be going, you know, a pretty good pace to cover four miles in 11 minutes, including the obstacles and all that. So it's been exciting to see. So if you don't know much about eventing, you may wonder where it all started. So eventing originated for cavalry riders to continue to work and train their horses and to test their horses' ability for the field. So cross country was the endurance portion where the horses got to test their endurance and their bravery. Show jumping was the portion where horses got tested on their finesse and their skill that would come when needed on the battlefield. And lastly, dressage was a good test for just the commotion, but also the very technical aspect of horse training for the horses. So that is where eventing came from. From there, it grew into everyone started doing it and now it's in the Olympics and it's an Olympic sport so that's kind of the history of eventing and what we're seeing here today originated way back when when the cavalry used it to train their horses so I just found Kong Equine's dog park here and you can see there's dogs there back here playing with their toys so we're gonna go find their vendor tent and say hi All right, so I'm here with Kelsey from Kind Equine. So what do you do at Kind Equine? So I'm at 
Kelsey Collins with Kong Equine. I am our West Coast sales representative, but um, a lot, also a lot of what I do is engage with customers to discuss the proper uses for Kong Equine. And then I also speak with farm owners, um, competitors about the proper use for this as well. We see all in the events that you have dog toys, and I know it started with dog toys. So how did y'all get into the horse toys? Yeah, so Kong Equine was really launched out of necessity. Um, about a year and a half ago, we launched our Kong Zoo line. Um, so for zoo animals, and we saw a huge need for enrichment for horses as well. Um, horses are oftentimes traveling to shows. They're in new environments. They're definitely animals that don't like a lot of change and so enrichment is um, more valuable than we as competitors and writers might often give it credit for and so that's really how Kong Equine was born was not only by necessity but also there's just not a lot of enrichment items out there and the ones that currently exist unfortunately don't have a very big lifespan or long lifespan right because right. horses can be pretty um, pretty aggressive with toys and pop them or chew them up that sort of thing right so what horses would you say benefit most from the hanging toy right here. Well, I would say we have a few classification of horses um, that would do well with this. Um, they get anxious when their stallmate leaves, that sort of thing. This is a great item to have because you can hang it in the barn um, and you can be um, proactive. If I have a competitor that's going to be leading their horse out and leaving, that, that would be a good time to hang this up and fill it and, and fill it with treats and you can use the base of it as a slow feeder. Um, in some cases you can use it with cribbers. The nice thing is the rubber texture here tends to be a bit more attractive than like wood or something like that. So if we could get horses rather to crib on this than your nice barn stall, that is a good thing as well. And then also young horses, right? Young horses tend to be very mouthy, very playful. Um, it's in their nature as they're coming off of nursing from their moms and they're being weaned. This is a great thing to have to kind of um, redirect that behavior, if you will. I know Tucker loves this. So good. Well, yeah. thank you, Kelsey. Yeah, thank you. So I found this toy to be very beneficial to my own horse. So if this is something you're interested in, I'll put the link in the description to their website and you can use code equine helper to get 15% off your hanging equine horse toy. So y'all can see behind me the dark clouds rolling in. Luckily, we've been here all day and it's almost time to leave and the storm is finally coming in. So it's been really fun. I'm really thankful that I was able to see Kong Equine and see their booth, but also see all the amazing riders and horses today. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos.